Welcome to See You on the Net podcast. I'm LaShonda Hoffman, your host. Today I'm starting a series called Promotion in Your PJs. These are different tips that I was showing you how to promote in a simple, easy way to keep you consistent. The best part about promoting in your PJs is being able to do it in your bed. You don't even have to open up your laptop to be creative. Before you start doing your promotion in your PJs, I recommend you download the Canva app if you don't have it on your phone. Canva is a great tool for creating promotion content, so I highly recommend it to my, my, my clients and I'm recommending it to you. If you don't like Canva, then I say have a graphic designer um, app on your so- or software that you can use to create you some content. My other suggestion is to download the Evernote app or use the notepo- notepad on your phone. These are perfect for collecting notes and writing social media and blog posts. So when I give you assignments, those are what you'll be tools you'll be using your your Canva and your Evernote. I am a huge fan of my iPhone. It's like a mini computer in my hand. So it's another one of my tools that I use um, for promoting in my PJs. One of my favorite things to do on Sunday is to schedule and create promotion content. I like to share uh, different things while I'm in bed no one knows I'm in bed in my PJs but me, but it's, it's, I can spend a couple hours just chilling in my bed, creating graphics or creating blog posts, and then scheduling them using my hoot suites or scheduling them using Facebook. So I am going to share with you five different things that you can do. There are little assignments that you can pick. Choose one or choose or do all five, but something to get you started with your PJs. So the first one is to create five graphics with quotes from your book. And then you want to share those graphics to your community daily. I recommend sometimes that you do seven. Then you have seven for the whole week. So what you want to do is pick pictures that follow your book theme. Um, For me, I talk about uh, working on your dreams. And so I try to find graphics that's comparable to my dream which is writing and books and stuff and so I try to find graphics just like that have that theme and then I can put different types of dream quotes on them you can do the same thing with your book maybe your book is about I, well I'll use my example we we are um in my book one of the themes is is sister teas so I could probably find um graphics about teapots or tea uh settings or tea parties and put cute little um, quotes from my book on that. Make sure that you want to include your website or your logo on your graphic because sometimes people like to borrow. So if they're going to borrow or they're going to share, you want to make sure that the people come back to you and not them. Um, also include a link to purchase when you share as a, as a uh, social media post. I saw three or four posts this week where people were sharing their books, but they weren't telling me where to go to to get them. If I got to go search it out, guess what? I'm going to go down the line. I'm not going to continue on and put, you know, go search for it. But if you put the link, I might click the buy button and go see if I want it or not. So make sure you always include a link when you're sharing your graphics. Assignment number two is to share the link, share the link to your email list. Most people don't tell people they have an email list. So I want you to be one of those writers who does. You want people to join your email list. So you have to share it. And I suggest you share it at least three times to your community. Make sure that they know that you have an email list. One way to do that is to offer them a freebie, uh, what they call it, a little bribe, to get their email. Their email. You're giving them something nice in return for their email. You too, you want to create a cute graphic to share the link with. So when you post it on Facebook, you're not just saying, hey, join my link, join my email list. You have a link and you have a cute little graphic to say, this is your email list. Then you want to also 
Don't sleep on your email signature. Include your email sign up and your email signatures. You'd be surprised how many people send out emails with nothing. They don't even say who they are. I always sign, well, I got to at least say LaShonda, you know, so make sure at the bottom of it, you got LaShonda and then, hey, join my email list. The third assignment is to write a blog post in Evernote. Share, and then you want to share that to your community. Now, I love writing my blogs in Evernote because most of the times, guess where my ideas come to me? In bed, in my car, and standing in line at the grocery store. So I whip out my little Evernote and I type up my stuff. The best thing that I have been doing lately is I've been transcribing my, my stuff. So I just talk into my phone and write my blog posts that way. This a great way to stay consistent with your blogs because you're just taking little bits of time to write, create your blog. And if you're like me, you're keeping it small and simple. You're not writing a five-day blog. You're writing, you know, short little simple blogs so people can come back and read them. So this way you can be consistent with your blog. Even if you do it once a week, they know that, okay, once a week, LaShonda's going to have some new content on her blog. Let me go check out what she's talking about. You want to make sure that you schedule your blog post to your community so they know that you have a blog. Maybe they don't know you have a blog. So if you're putting your information out there to your community weekly, they know, okay, she has a blog. Let me go check it out. Include a question at the end of your blog to get engagement. That's how you bring them back to you. You ask them a question and they got to come back and answer it, right? So number four, visit five groups and be the expert. You can answer questions. You can give advice. Um, I love groups just for that because you can be the person that somebody needs help from. You know, so engagement is very important when you're in groups. Make sure you're not a drive-by promoter that the only time you come into that group is to drop your book in there. Nope, you want to be the person who participates in the group. Know the promotion days so you don't get kicked out because you're promoting on the wrong day. I have promotion on Saturdays, on the weekends, put it that way, in my groups. and all my groups that I have, promotion is always on the weekend. And I always get somebody who comes in there. They ain't never been in there or they haven't been in a while. And guess what they do? They promote during the week. And guess what I do? I politely delete it. I don't say anything to them. I just politely delete it because that's the rules. So follow the rules. Most groups have promotion days because they know people want to promote. So make sure you know what days they are. Share information that is valuable. What is it that you know? You'd be surprised how much you know that someone needs. You know, today uh, today I shared about um, the Kindle, using my Kindle to read my manuscript. I let my Kindle read to me. And someone said, I didn't know the Kindle did that. Yep, it sure does. If you send a document to your Kindle, you can download it into your Kindle, and then your Kindle will read to you. So if you didn't know that tip, you got a new tip. All right, number five, wish five people happy birthday on Facebook or in LinkedIn. Yes, LinkedIn does birthdays too. This is a great way to connect with people that you haven't connected with all year. Say hello, happy birthday. Let them know that you're thinking about them today. One of the things that I like to do is do a digital gift, something that you can share with them. Maybe you have an expert excerpt of your book. Maybe you have, I used to do coloring pages. I would send people a coloring page. So think of something cute and unique to give to somebody so they can remember you and know that you thought their birthday was special. So, all right. Next week, I will be sharing five new things that you can do in your PJs to keep you consistent with your promotion. I would love to hear from you. Let me know which one you chose to try in your PJs. I would also like to invite you to the mastermind I host. It's called the Social Bus butterfly mastermind if you are struggling with your promotion or you need some fresh ideas to jumpstart your promotion this mastermind is for you go to bit.ly slash sbmm2020 and learn more about it i also put them in the show notes so you can click on it this is lashonda hoffman 
your promotion strategist, and I will be back here next week, same time, with new information. Share this with your friends. Let them know all about how they can promote in their PJs because social butterflies share good information with their friends. If you have any questions for me, hit me up at lcwriter at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you and I always answer. So you, I will see you on the, the net. I can't even talk. <laughs> see you on the net. Have a great day.